Let's take a look at how a stroke happens. This is your heart, which pumps blood at your whole body 24 hours a day, without resting. Sometimes your body encounters an embolus, a piece of material that can block your blood vessels. An embolus may be made up of a blood clot, a piece of fat, air or another gaze, amniotic fluid, or a fragment of a tumor, or other substances. Since your heart pumps blood, there is a chance that the embolus will be carried to the brain's blood vessels. The brain's vessels are very thin and can become completely blocked by this embolus. When a vessel gets blocked, blood can't reach the brain, causing brain cells to die. This is what's called a stroke. A stroke doesn't only happen because of blocked vessels. It can also happen when a vessel ruptures. If you have an aneurysm in the brain or a chronic high blood pressure, the risk of a blood vessel rupture in the brain is higher, which causes bleeding and the death of brain cells, leading to stroke. The main risk factors for stroke are number 1. High blood pressure or hypertension, the most important and dangerous factor. Number 2. Diabetes, affects blood glucose levels and damages blood vessels. Number 3. High cholesterol, builds plaques and arteries that block them. Number 4. Arterial fibrillation, irregular heartbeat that leads to blood clot formation. Number 5. Lifestyle factors. Smoking, lack of exercise, and poor diet can increase stroke risk. And number 6. Age. As we grow older, arteries harden and narrow. If your brain vessel is blocked by an embolus or clot, the most important treatment is ECR or endovascular clot retrieval. In this treatment, a stent is inserted into the blocked brain vessel. The stent helps remove the clot from the vessel, restoring blood flow to the brain. Thank you for staying with us until the end. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more reliable medical videos.